Hello everyone and welcome to this new episode from the Avalonia UI series. In this video we'll talk about the Fluent Avalonia UI package. Fluent Avalonia is a modern toolkit for Avalonia applications, inspired to Fluent Design and WinUI. Put in simple words, this library changes the style of your Avalonia application to make it look like a Windows 11 native app. The new style is automatically applied to most of the default Avalonia controls, plus you get some new controls out of the box. And whether you're working on an existing project or starting from scratch, introducing the Fluent Avalonia library and changing the default team is a fairly simple task. In our case, let's see how we can change the style of the application we've been working on in this series from the default team to the Fluent Avalonia one. Before we move on, let's just make a tiny clarification. Avalonia comes with two official themes. The Fluent team, which is also inspired by Microsoft's Fluent design system, and a simple team, which is a minimal and lightweight theme. Also, there are several other themes in different stages of development that have been brought to life by Avalonia Amazing Community. One is the Material Avalonia, which is a modern theme inspired by Google's Material Design System, Semi Avalonia, which is inspired by the Semi Design, and Fluent Avalonia, which is the one we'll be using in this video. So make sure you don't confuse the official Fluent theme with the community one. From now on, whenever I say Fluent Theme or Fluent Library, I'll refer to the latter. As usual, I'll put all the links in the video description so that you can learn more about the different themes. Cool. Let's see how to include the Fluent Avalonia theme inside our existing application. The first thing is to go to the Package Manager, look for Fluent Avalonia, Fluent Avalonia UI, and install it. In case of errors, let's try to update the Avalonia packages first. Look for Avalonia, right? And update all the packages. All right, now that we are on version 11.0.6, let's look for Fluent Avalonia again and install it. Perfect. Now, the second step is to remove any other theme that we installed inside the application. And as far as I remember, we installed the Fluent theme. We could just delete it and that's it. Now we'll get some errors and we need to clean up all the namespaces from the package that we removed. Cool. Now that we don't have any more, any more errors, let's include the Fluent Library styles inside the app XAML. And don't forget to import the namespace. So XML namespace STY equals to using Fluent Avalonia dot styling. Don't forget to set the prefer user accent color to true. This way, this way the theme will follow the system color. Then the next step is to go inside our main view in the code behind and replace the window base class with app window which is from the Fluent Avalonia package. Now that the main window inherits from a Fluent Avalonia base class, we need to tweak the title bar a little bit by uh, setting the extend content info title bar to true and the title bar hit test type to hit test type complex. This way we will get rid of the default Avalonia title bar, which has a different color 
and we will extend the content of our application to the title bar. And this comes with a little drawback, which is that we need to create our own title bar. So let's go to the XAML file. Let's, okay, the preview is showing up properly. Here we go. And now that we have hidden the default title bar, we need to create our own. And we can do it by using a text block, for instance. And given that every window can contain only one root element, which in this case, it's, it's, it's our split view, we need to arrange together a split view and a text block. And we can do it by creating a grid, for instance. A grid, move the split view inside it. Okay, collapse it. So this grid will have basically two rows. So we can set the row definitions. The first row will be the title bar and we can set the sizing to automatic. And then we can let the split view take rest of the space like this. Cool, the first one. Let's set up a border for the, for the textbook and we'll see why. And the split view needs to get the grid.row index set to one because it's the second row. Now we've got our border and we want the border to be at row zero. Let's add a text block in it. Let's remove the ending tag and let's set the text to the title of our window. We can do this by using the binding. So we want to bind it to the title property, which is not actually in the view model because the binding works towards the view model. And so we need to tell the text box that this title property is inside our window. And we can do it by using the relative source and make it point to uh, the syntax is relative source and make it point to an ancestor, an ancestor of the text block. And we want the engine to go and look for the first and Chester type window. All right. So now the text block is going to look for the title property inside the first window on Chester and set the text to the title. Let's tweak it a bit more. Let's set the vertical alignment to center and let's give it a margin of 10 horizontal zero vertical cool so we can now see the avalonia application title popping up it's a little bit too squashed and we need to leave some space for the action but the window action buttons like the exit expand reduce to icon and to do that we can just set the border to a high of i think it was 32 yes 32 looks perfect cool Let's see how it looks. All right, we need to fix the list box items. Yeah, because they are not aligned anymore. And to do that, I did some tests before and we need to tweak some properties like this compact plane needs to be 46. Then the, let's put, let's set the button margin to seven and the list box we need to tweak the margins and this values works if you want to copy it it's a minus 100 for the right margin two for the left margin and zero for top and bottom last thing is to set the, the stack panel spacing to 17. and if i did my math this should work properly here we go it's not perfect, but it's working. Another cool thing 
of this Fluent Avalonia package is that it includes a navigation view, which is the navigation bar that we implemented from scratch. Exactly this one. But it comes with a predefined control and it's so easy to tweak it. In the future, we might see how to replace our split view with the Fluent Avalonia navigation view. The last thing left to do now is to run the application and see the result. Here we go. Cool, we can see a couple of things like the, the different title bar, the accent color, which is blue in my case, the hover effect on the list view, the split view behaves more or less the same, uh, buttons are a bit different, toggles, radio button, text. I think the text is using some specific, some Windows specific font, sliders, and the rest is pretty much the same. Here we can see a before and an after comparison of our application. In case you want to learn more about the Fluent Avalonia package, you can find the link to the repository in the description and check their sample application. They provide it for different platforms and you can just clone the repo and run the application for your platform. This is the sample application where they showcase basic Avalonia controls with the new style applied. You can find basic input controls, text controls, the time, and a lot more, plus custom made controls like the app window that we just implemented, range sliders, task dialog. You can recognize if you are a Windows user, you can recognize this kind of dialogues. And then teaching tips are so cool. And built-in icons. You can you, you can have a lot of different type of icons. And for each example, let's let's pick the navigation view for instance. You can find a visual example plus the source code. You just need to click here on example source code. You can copy paste the snippet to be ready to go and test the control you're interested in. For instance, this is the navigation view that we implemented from scratch inside our application. And you can see that it's brought as a custom control from the Avalonia UI. So a, a good exercise would be to replace our custom made split view with the through an Avalonia navigation view. I highly encourage you to take a look at this simple application, navigate through all the custom controls. They are very well done. And you can just copy paste the code to quickly test all the controls. Let me know if you are interested in a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to include custom controls from the Fluent Avalonia library by leaving a comment on this video. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoy it, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching.